Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. It's 23rd September. Dollar went a little bit bid overnight. Equities remain at the highs. Gold. Bang. Going to be some pain in gold today. Below 1886. I feel like we underperformed in gold here. Um, we sold 32s on Monday. But then we kind of lost our way in this fucking mess here. Um, let's take a look on the dailies. We'll get a better idea on what, what's going to happen here. Um, I guess the real waterfall is going to be through 73, but now we've printed um, these two lows at 85. I'm going to have to give this a little bit more thought um, whether we're going to we're going to tactically get short gold through the lows. Uh, not sure yet, but certainly looks in interesting at first blush. Never super comfortable when these dollar moves happen in Asia. You just don't really trust Asia in FX um, unless we're talking about Asian currencies, right? I trust Aussie, Kiwi, Yen in Asia. I trust those moves. Uh, but some of the other moves I typically don't trust because it's usually just clearing stops and there's no real interesting volume behind it. Anyway, same low. Let's see how that goes. Euro finally slipped down through. Choppy yesterday. Went down uh, went down to 90. 92 yesterday. Back up to 17. I don't know what this bar was. I bet it was Tokyo Open. A little bit after Tokyo Open. I didn't see any news. Um, to be fair, I didn't really look too hard. Um, about the Asian session, dollar-wise. Let's see. No. No real uh no real no real news. RBNZ last night as uh expected kept rates at a quarter. Anyway, dollars bid, we're through these big levels. Um what does this basically mean? It just it doesn't mean that um this is like some sort of I don't think there's a trend here forming. This is just one massive screw job for the market at large. So the market was was short dollars, conviction short dollars. Um, and here we are. If you recall, this all started up through 115. So there are still guys who are short, short dollars. Um, and they're not super twitchy yet. Although this is the fourth quarter, uh, you're sort of paid to protect P&L. But often what happens is if you've got some P&L uh, in the books, you kind of push your chips in the middle. On the institutional side of the world, you're, you're kind of paid to push your chips in the middle and, and keep your conviction. So it'll be interesting to see if we get bids now um, between 116 and 115 this high here. 115.66. Uh, this looks like a very likely support. Let's call it 115.75 without drilling down to see exactly what that was. That high. 115.70. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, there's not like. There's no urgency to this doll, this euro sell move. It's just kind of 
clicking lower, ding dong, ding dong. Um, so we'll see. Cable, wild day yesterday, right? Bang lower here, bang higher here. That's 150 points. And then bang lower here. There's something here at 10. Uh, we saw it yesterday. At the end of the day, uh, we had the old 10 given, 28 paid kind of a deal. Surely there's going to be some momentum, guys, below 10. That will probably get taken out at the open. <clears throat> But, um, gun to my head, I kind of want to buy cable. Uh, no real area in mind to buy cable, but uh, perhaps first let's let these lows get taken out and maybe buy back through uh, if it's a failure down there. Dollar Swiss has broken the key 92 cent number. Uh, Impossible to trade dollar Swiss. Don't even don't even look at it. It's a nuisance. It's a migraine. It's a menstrual cramp. We have to trade it. Obviously, we overlay. Uh, I live in Switzerland. I get paid in dollars. You get the feeling. You get the idea why I watch dollar Swiss. But I don't really trade it. I don't really make any money out of it. I just basically am short dollar Swiss. All the, all the time, um, you know, looking for places to sell it. But this is broken 92 cents. We'll see if this holds. Uh, very skeptical. Dollar yen. We talked about it yesterday. Like, oftentimes, the most awkward numbers are the ones that pay. Uh, 385 clean yesterday traded back down to 85 after 08 but clean as a whistle I mean if you're long dollar yen we bought through 85s and we just kind of sold them at the figure took some money there but um, you know if you put that in your trend book you just now you have a stop at break even and, and you just see let the let the trade winds flow here. Let's see what the price is gonna do. But it's funny how that works, you know. Conviction short, everyone's conviction short, dollar yen. This could go higher. Um I am not long. I'm looking for places to sell it. Uh the story for me is dollar yen lower. Uh where to sell it, I don't know, maybe back down through eighty five. Cross yen on knees. We got uh, European numbers out today. PMIs and that that junk. French and German PMI eight, nine, ten, thirty. European wide services and manufacturing. U.S. manufacturing and services as well. Uh, and then we got Powley today. Again, testifying. A couple other FOMC Muppets be bopping around. Um, but right now it's really a technically driven market and a news driven market. There's nothing else the Fed can say really. So uh, just watching the charts here. Let's go to our friends, our, the Widowmaker. 56 traded yesterday. How do you like them apples? Like, wow. Tough, 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 tough to stay core short czar. It's like uh, they, know, they know our position and they're making it tough. But this is the way, I think. Um, maybe when we clear 17, the figure will start, will start trending in a more uh, sensible way, right? When I say sensible... Normally, a trending market doesn't go down 40 handles. That's like 3% in a day. Normally, a trending market like this one here, if you look here, it just goes up and up and up and up and up. And the pullbacks are, are weak and shitty. Um, and then when things start getting wild, they see up here, up here, 170.30, you get these big 
pulls and pushes, that usually means the trend is over. Uh, what we're looking for is this kind of a thing. Zzz. No pullbacks. Yesterday we got pullbacks, ball kicks, whatever you want to call them. Um, but we're stubbornly sticking with the idea that the Czar the South African Rand is going to get fucked. So um, we add through 17 the figure. Dollar Max, same story. Uh, a little less fall, Dollar Max. Higher overnight just with dollar strength. The chart's not great in Dollar Max, I'm not really sure. Um, we drew this yesterday. I wonder if this. Uh, yeah, just basically nipping through this. Dollar Max, we find, is sort of the same story, right? It's just. Um, should go should go higher but we don't have as much conviction as we do with dollars are um, but anyway looks like it's turned she looks like she wants higher Aussie smoked uh, euro Aussie through 163.55 last night kind of annoyed we didn't get to trade that but orders were not in not super clean 63 paid, 16 given. Uh, but Aussie and Kiwi on these. RBNZ created a little bit of nonsense there. I don't know what that blip was, but they did nothing. Nothing they can do. They're cornered. Uh, there's a rat in the kitchen. Where am I going to be? I'm going to take that rat. That's so what we're going to do. We're going to take that rat. 6601 98 the low last night if stocks turn and um, this could get some legs in the downside uh, we'll see what else stocks we sold 05s last night as we talked about on Twitter um, but not really doing much with this. We have a very tiny position. Um, looks like we're just going to range around. So it looks like today we could get up to sort of 30 or 40. The low will probably be 80. Um, I guess it gets more interesting once you get above 26. We do like fading this, but gent very, very gently. Um, this could easily go 50, 60 handles higher still. So... That's our view there. And Bitcoin, not doing much. 10,500, just consolidating. Uh, as you can see, no real uh, hyper focus for the open here. Uh, we will be watching to see what cable does through those lows. Dollars are 17. The figure is of interest to us. And gold see what we do through the lows and through the all important 75 um, let's see if we can get down through there once we clear stops through 75 though I have to say we will be looking to get long said enough 13 minutes geez I can babble on sometimes listen have a good trading day ahead and uh, see you tomorrow ciao